Alright, here's my uh, Zenith Space Command, uh, System 3 Space Command tele color television with the remote. I bought it at Goodwill for the price of, I think, $10. I think that's the price tag on it. Yep, $10, not $1,000. <laughs> um, and I saw it, I just had to have it because it's such a, such a 70s styled uh, television. Um, it's it's kind of unusual. It was, it's the, the earliest television that I've seen. No, I, I'm, I could be wrong. There might be earlier televisions that actually hook up to your phone line. It has a speaker system in it that allows you to answer telephone calls when you're watching TV. It actually rings, um, and you can you can answer the telephone. Um, that right there is the the microphone. So it's it's kind of hard to talk to somebody on the other side of the the line. You have to be kind of at least within a foot of that microphone in order for the person on the other end to hear you clearly. Um, and you can also dial out and make calls so that the TV actually rings, but it's not a, a bell. It's an annoying early electronic ringer that uh, gives me a headache when I listen to it. But um, it's, such, it's such an unusual television. I've never, I didn't know that they had this technology back then. Of course, I'm only 16, so I don't, I'm not too familiar with uh, older technology. That right there is a color sensory sensor. Um, I don't know. I, I'm guessing that's like a... Um, like a light sensor um, when you put your finger over it if you enable it which if you, you can see the button here if you enable it it's supposed to help um, with the color make sure that it's balanced um, which actually if you enable it and look at the picture it looks a lot crappier than the not enabling it um, let's go ahead and I can show the back of this just here there's the uh, the antenna hookup I have it hooked up to regular cable right now um, but uh, when you push this end here into there, you can go ahead and use these uh, for the antenna. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to somehow hook up a box up, box up to this so that I can, or the guest, this is the guest bedroom, so the guest gets to use this television so they can watch television with that digital switchover, which is really going to screw a lot of people over who have older technology. Another interesting little option here, if you can see it, that port is an audio out port um, for headphones. Of course, if I plugged headphones into it, and it needs to be cleaned because uh, it's very staticky. Now, this is the remote that came with the television. It takes a 12 volt battery. It's about half an inch thick and almost almost a ruler length long, 12 inches long. Um, it's got a lot of options on it for an early television. It's not it's, well. You can probably see there. There's the uh, the emittance. I guess is what I forget the technical term for it there. Um, you got the on and off switch and uh, the channel selector. Here, right here, you have the space phone, as they call it. Um, you press that, and you would get a dial tone. I don't have it hooked up to a line right now. At least I don't think I do. Um, and then you have the privacy. It allows you to listen in on somebody's call. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And it has a really nice picture for such an old television. It's not too, but it's out of state, obviously. Um, it doesn't go up past channel 41, which is a, a disadvantage because uh, channel 49, at least for us, is uh, is TCM, which there's a lot of good movies on there. And then, of course, 66 is um, TV Land, which a lot of classic television shows are on, so that's a disadvantage. But other than that, there is a sharp sound you can pop, you might be able to hear, you might not, uh, coming from it, which I've had trouble on other. Uh, televisions. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but um, it goes away after a little while. Um, let's see if I can turn off the lights, see if you get a better picture. I don't know. Kind of. That black line in the way is not helping. So it's the first. It's the first television that I've actually seen that has this feature on it that's so old. Um, although it probably doesn't seem old to some people, it seems old to me. Um, so I hope you enjoyed looking at it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Or if you have more information about it, I'd love to hear any any experience that you may have as an original owner or maybe when you were a kid you used it and your parents had it. I'd love to hear any stories.